Well, the, the big takeaway is that we're on the verge of being able to re reverse aging in the body internally, but also externally. Um, and that'll be a world where people not just live longer, but feel better about themselves as well. We've talked about injectables, edibles, smearables. It's a lot of ways of getting these molecules into the body, not just ingesting them, but putting them on the surface and getting them into the layers where they're needed to slow down and reverse aging. And there's a lot to talk about, about the, the future of all of this development and what we're going to be seeing in the next five to 10 years as well, which we'll cover in a later episode. At the top of the show, I mentioned that I had come into this topic a little bit reluctantly. I didn't think we really needed to be spending our time helping people. You thought it was a superficial topic? I did. I thought it was a superficial topic. And I can admit when I'm wrong. Rarely, but yeah. <laughs> Once in a while. Um, this isn't just about looking good. This is part of the progression of the things that we've been talking about throughout the course of this series. None of this negates also the importance of doing the exercise and eating well and engaging uh, you, you, like the circuits in your body that respond to adversity. Getting enough sleep, don't stress, all of that stuff. We've all that about. stuff is important. But then the outcome of that is it, it can be that you look better. That's what that's okay. Right. So the moral of, of this episode is if you can keep yourself looking good by doing the right things, you'll probably end up living longer too.